Hello. I know it's been a while, and I'm just waiting for some lunch to cook under the grill. <laughs> I'm having hot cross buns. Brilliant. Let's run the short intro, and I'm going to tell you what this video is about. Let's rock and roll. Hot cross buns. Fuck me. Let's go again. Hello. So it's been three weeks around that since I've done a video. I've started this video so many times and every time I try and start the video, something happens. The first time, pigeons wouldn't get out of the road. I was like within half a foot of fucking killing two of them. They just moved at the last second, but it freaked me out. I might put the footage in for you so you can see it. Because I was like, ah. That was horrible. Because when we moved into the house, oh fuck. Shit. And then I start, I like paused it and thought, right, I'll start again. Because that didn't work. Started it again. Driving down the road. And some, like, taxi driver coming the opposite way, veers right over onto my side of the road. I'm like, well, I hit him with a barrage of offensive language, which I probably won't put that bit in. Maybe I'll put a bit of it and just beep it so you can see my reaction. Some curtains. Fuck me, what is wrong with people today? The geezer was fucking on my side of the road. Holy shit, it's me that's fucking holding a camera. Every other fucker's blind. Shit. I'm heading to my dad's. Did I tell you why already? I'm so out of practice with these videos. So I was talking to somebody yesterday and this morning about what I was going to do today. Like I'm going to the shop to get some curtains because when me and my daughter moved into our house, she picked the best room, of course, she's gonna do that. And her room already had nice curtains up, so I had her old bedroom curtains. But like pretty much I've got girls' curtains in my room. It's even got like a little fairy dream catcher thing hanging from it, but I don't give a fuck. Well, clearly I do, because today, like seven months on, eight months on since we've lived there, I am going to a store to buy, hopefully, some curtains that fit, hopefully, my windows. But what I was saying, God, like this is the problem when you start and stop these videos so many times. Man, there's a cycle in front of me now. I can't go round him. Corner's blind. I'm going round him. Screw this. So, basically, what was I saying? Jesus Christ, this is such a bad video. I am so sorry. No, I was talking about, like, I was asked, will I be videoing this, like, exposure that I'm doing today? And I was like, I don't really know. I thought to myself, look, maybe I should because I haven't put a video on for a while, like, and this shows that I am still getting out and attempting to do things and just... But there's, a, there's been a shift in my mindset, and that has been that I've just not been doing things and classing them as exposure therapy. I've just been doing things like going to my local shop and just being completely relaxed, not rushing around, not grabbing what I need and then trying to get the hell out and like pacing around and being scared if there's a queue at the checkout. It hasn't bothered me. I've just been doing whatever. Whatever's needed to be done, I've been doing it. And that was kind of what I was thinking about today. Like I didn't want to add the camera and then have to talk about how I feel and bring my attention to like anxiety and that. But then I thought to myself like, maybe like it would be more of a challenge if I do because it really has felt like I've been way more anxious about doing this this morning. I've been sitting thinking about it, like picturing panicking in the store and just like holding the camera in front of me and talking about this stuff has definitely made this more of an issue today because it's actually made me think like, oh shit, I have anxiety, I need to talk about it. Like what could happen, what might happen, stuff like that. So it's kind of been a bit of a hindrance today Instead of just making everything anxiety, 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 I've got to do this, I've got to beat this. Just do it. Or well, just get on with it. What's the worst that can happen, really? Like, the worst that can happen, and 
people don't talk about this shit, but I'm going to say it. The worst that can happen is that I get in the store and I collapse and die. Well, guess what? You won't see this video because it won't be uploaded. And I won't give a fuck because I'll be dead anyway. So, I'm sorry if that triggered anybody. But that's the way that it is, man. I refuse to be bound to my house anymore. And I'm not going to do things just to try and expand my comfort zone or whatever. There is no comfort zone. It's all uncomfortable. So just, like, what difference does it make at the end of the day? Just go and do it. Set yourself free. Do what you can. Stay safe. Let's go get some curtains. See where we're going. What colour? Brown. No trolleys in this place. Mm. Ready made curtains. They're going to be upstairs. You can bet your life. What is all this anyway? This bedding. What's a jackard? This is all bedding. I thought it was. It's posh though, isn't it? Yeah, they are. Unbelievable. Upstairs. <laughs> We've got to go upstairs. This is just incredible. I need one of those chairs. Little chairs. I'm doing this for you. Not a caring. This is it. There's nothing worse than a store you have to go in and then go upstairs to get what you bloody want. What you Which one? Yeah. Right over there. Why have they got these here? To stop people driving up the stairs and crashing through. Oh man. Vertigo. I don't like heights. Well, we're upstairs. Looking for ready made curtains. Quite relaxed ish. <sighs> yes, boys. Look at that. Cheap. What else did you want? Cheap and cheerful. Sixty-five quid for curtains. Like some people have got more money than cents. Mind you, yeah. To be fair, I have more money than cents, but that's only because I don't have a lot of cents. I questioned myself then as to whether I can do this. Instant nerves. I'm gonna call this video life or loathe because. Like, it's not life or death. This isn't a life or death situation. But this is a life or loathe. Because if I don't do this stuff, I'm going to loathe myself. Self-loathing. Look how expensive for you, man. Like, that's what I'm thinking. There's so much stuff that I want to do people that I want to go and see. I've got friends all over the freaking UK now. Like Mark up in Runcorn. I've got friends in Wolverhampton, in Newcastle. And I want to be able to travel and do stuff. And if I can't come here and get curtains, then what chance have I got of doing that? None. I can feel my legs locking. I need to relax. I just walk fucking normally. I pit, try and picture like walking around the house. Exactly the same. What difference is it? Life or loathe? I don't want a life. So. We did it. Got the curtains. Got a nice blanket. Now we're back here. 
Remember this place? I don't know why, but... Just getting some vaping in while I'm sitting here. My dad's just getting a trolley. Look, dual vape pens again. We're gonna go for it. We'll see what happens. I don't need anything. It's even dark in here. So if you remember, I did two videos in here just before Christmas. I can't remember what the first one was called, but the second one was called the sequel. Same shop. That's exactly where I'm at now, after being in another one already. It's because I just felt like in that last place, my legs were locking up. Felt weak, weird. So I just said to my dad, like, let's go here. I don't need anything. Apparently he does. Wash. Never leave home without it. <laughs> Please, can we go? I feel like a kid. You know, when the, you know when toddlers are like, can we go now? That's what I'm like, isn't it? A whining little kid. Can you get me some of them? If I'm going to be in here, I may as well spend his money. I want to get out of here now. I've got to go all the way down there, <coughs> running like a fairy. That's true. <coughs> Still got Christmas stuff. Mm, sure. <sighs> Just lean here. No way you're taking me, bro. Never go shopping with your parents. That's today's tip. <laughs> Life all over. <coughs> I'm loathing this right now. Who likes looking at the food? Like we're right in the corner. You can't even see over there. Can't get any further in than this freaking corner. Where all the crap is. But he likes a bargain. Just chill. I'll sit down. I'll tell you what, because you've made me come to this corner, he's going to buy me some <coughs> caramel digestives. Look, yeah, I know. The longer I have to stand in here, the more stuff I'm going to make you buy me. legs have gone. Again. I'm doing my own editing. Let me get past you. I'm going to have to run out. <sighs> I can't handle this. I can't handle it. Yeah, I know you are. Which is bad. <coughs> Dad wandered off and I'm just walking around the store on my own. Like I'm battling with myself. Challenging myself. I'm in the toy section. Right. That's where I feel most at home. I'm thinking of getting this. I'm just trying to calm myself down, like... Not really challenging the thoughts that I'm having. Just acknowledging the thoughts that I'm having. Like, yeah, I notice that. I feel weird. But I don't, it's just a flash. A flash of weirdness. I'm good. 
that was the moment before Christmas that I would have bailed. But I didn't, I didn't. I just walked. I'm not saying I don't want to bail. Squeeze you through. Thank you. Uh, Sorry. That's alright. I can't see over the top. Uh, <laughs> a little step ladder. I know I need it, don't I? <laughs> I like that. <coughs> a bit pompous. But I am a punt. What is this? An organised rhythm of colours, patterns, and trends to create a stunning impression in any bedroom. <laughs> but they're all doubles. Bed set. Luxury, mate. Luxury. Yeah? We're not messing about. They're all flaming doubles. Who has a double these days? This might be the longest I've ever been in here. I suppose it's a mark of progress, isn't it? And I'm not running out. And I've had quite a few moments where I've felt it. And questioned. But time for the checkout. I think they're doing all the parts. They've been sending me with like, models to make me run. Oh, I know, I can't help yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I've got to. some of the footage and then off again for stage three and four. So I've just left my dad's, <coughs> excuse me, we went, we got the curtains which was perfect, exactly what I wanted. I'd seen those ones online and I could have ordered them online actually thinking about it. I could have ordered them online but I'd probably have to wait a few days so we just went there. That wasn't the store that we were planning on going. I've never actually been in that store before. Never. I didn't know it was two stories. Like, otherwise I probably wouldn't have gone in there. Sometimes it's nice going in places that you haven't been in. Because, like, there's no memory association with it. There's no negative thoughts. So, we went in there. And, like, I felt uneasy at times, I said, on camera. Unless I've edited those bits out, because the footage is terrible. But... There was times where I felt uneasy. But I've been saying to myself, and it's something that Claire Weeks said in one of the, I don't know which book it is, probably all of them. But she says, try not to be impressed. Try not to be too impressed by a feeling. And like that was what I was thinking about while I was in there. Because I was feeling like the jelly legs. I was feeling a bit disorientated. You know, if I was like bending down to look at curtains or whatever, when I stood back up, I'd feel just a little bit of dizziness, a little bit disorientated. Try not to be impressed. Do not be impressed by those feelings. And that's what I was carrying around with me, just thinking. And then we left there, and we headed to my old haunt, Pound Stretcher, which I've done several videos from. I just wanted to see, like, okay, I've just done that, and felt a bit edgy. Let's see how I feel now going there as like an afterthought instead of that being the main big thing. Because it just goes to show that when you do these things and you keep doing them and you move on to bigger things, those smaller things do become easier. It's not such a big deal. Like I've been going to my local shop every day 
for the last few days and it's just it's no big deal now and then going into pound stretching today was no big deal really like compare it to the other two times that I went in there nowhere near as chaotic in my mind nothing like it so I'm heading home now and I've got to take my daughter to the doctor shortly I don't know whether it's going to be busy I don't know what the waiting room is going to be like I've only ever been there once before because it's the new doctors that we registered with since we moved so it's going to be interesting like I've got to stay there because it's my daughter's appointment I can't send her in on her own you know what I mean so I've got to be a responsible parent now this is the one thing of all the tasks that I've got today that I have to do like there's no bailing out on this one so a bit more pressure I guess but having done those two things that I've just done already it's given me a little bit of confidence although yeah I do feel a bit more tired now because that's what when you walk around these places and you do these things and it brings on anxiety because it did it's just that I'm not being impressed by it you do feel a bit like that girl and you could, would rather just sit and do nothing but I'm going to sit and do nothing in the doctor's waiting room instead like that's that's what's going to happen and then after that we're going to a drive through my dad's going to treat us to a McDonald's for all our hard work and efforts so I do all this good work today and then I go and eat junk food which kind of just you know it's not good but I shan't be too impressed by the Big Mac I shall just eat it and that's pretty much it after that like I have no plans I'm just going to sit and flake on the sofa and just look back over my achievements but it's as I said before man I'm just I'm trying to just live I'm just trying to live my life and not put too much weight into the stuff that I'm doing you know there's places I want to go there's people that I want to see I have friends all over the UK like I've got friends abroad but like realistically I have friends in the UK and there's nothing stopping me from going to see them. So, like maybe in the near future I will look to do that. I don't know. I'd love to go and do that, meet other people. And, like I've said this loads of times before, but I feel that I'm in a way better position than I've been in since before all this kicked off, like 15 years ago or however long it's been. But I'm jabbering on now. I'm going to drive home, concentrate on the road for once, and I will talk to you pre-doctors, I guess. TTFN. Doctors. Oh, man. It's a quick change, weren't it? I hate this place. It's supposed to make people feel better, not worse. Well, the fifth thing of the day, the drive through unbelievable, curtain shopping, pound stretcher, doctors, pharmacy, drive through unbelievable, and I'm still alive, just. Right. My dad's paying, so that's the only reason I'm here. Well, I made it. I made it through the day. I don't know how. Whew, that is cold. Banana milkshake. I've never had one before. How crazy is that? I've done it. Everything. It's crazy. And I weren't going to video this stuff today. But, like, I just wanted to maybe show what I'm doing. I'm not going through one of those periods where I just don't do anything. 
you know, and get myself caught in a rut. I'm pushing forward. I'm just not talking about it. I'm not, like, making anxiety everything. At the moment, I'm bored of it. And I'm just moving forward at my own pace, doing my own thing, trying to live life and not self-loathe for not even trying to do stuff. But it does pay off. Like, I'm in a way better position at the moment, feeling positive. And even though I've done all that today, like, yeah, feel a bit tired, maybe, but not too bad. I'd say the most difficult part of all of it was the chemist, because we had to wait for so goddamn long, and the heating was on full blast in there. That was horrible. But I didn't bail out. I just sat, walked around when I felt a bit uncomfortable, and just, I don't know, embraced the freaking wobbliness. That's it for me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Do not be impressed by a feeling. <laughs>